My name is Odunayo. I'm a public health specialist and I have called this platform where we discuss about women's health and how to ensure that we live healthy each day and every beautiful thing that comes with being a woman. So in today's video, I'll be talking to you about how to know if what you have is about to insist. So battling cysts generally, like I said, they, they are painless cysts and they can be very small, sometimes seed-like and expect and except it actually grows and then it gives you discomfort, you might not even notice at first that you have a battling cyst. So how do you tell that the swelling that you experience or that you're experiencing is actually a battling cyst? Number one, I will be talking about the location. On your vulva, you have the outer labia, we have the inner labia, and then we have the opening. Now, very close to the opening outside on your vulva, there are glands that are invisible, which are called the Bartholin glands. So the swelling starts from there. It could be seed-like, very small. Sometimes you touch it, you don't even notice it. So that is the location. But as soon as this gland swells up, the swelling can move up. You know up up to the upper part of the vulva or to the upper part of the libia majora which is the outer lips of the vulva it moves there and then sometimes some women say oh mm, i have battling cyst and then it is at the upper part of the lip of the of the vulva it started from the lower part. If it is battling cyst, battling cyst starts from the lower part and then grows bigger and then moves up and you know takes up the outer part of the of, of, of the vulva such that that part is bigger than the other one. Secondly, about location is that 99% of the time you don't have um, battling cyst on both sides of the vulva. It is usually located on one side. It is either on the right side or it is on the left hand side. That is one other way that you would have been suspecting that, oh, probably it is a battling cyst. Another thing that you have to know it is the feeling or the feel of it. Number one is that it gives you a tingling sensation. This tingling sensation is very important to note. It starts with a tingling sensation and that tingling sensation does not come with probably when you touch it or when you have intercourse or something. It is just there. It comes, you just feel it. You feel like, oh, what is that? You, have, you feel that you feel that slightly painful, a slightly tingling sensation on that spot on the vulva and then you are wondering, ah, why do I feel that? Sometimes it could even pass and you would not notice but if you are someone that is much more into their body or into your body you would know when such thing happens it gives that tingling sensation and then when you touch it especially when it is small it could be hard it just looks like a hard ball or a hard seed like that at that location it could be a little hard that is the touch and then when it gets bigger it becomes much more tender and then when it is about to you know burst open just like any other seed in any other part of the body it gets very very soft that is how you know so the the, the feel or the consistency or the maybe hardness or whatever if i find the right word i can put it here but that's what comes to my head now changes over time it goes from hard to soft and then it goes from hard to soft that way and then sometimes it could be ball like like you're touching it and it's as if it is moving around you know that kind of thing it could be ball like you touch it and it's doing prum, 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 prum. you're feeling like oh this thing is moving around especially when it is yet to be painful and when it is still kind of small it could you know move around it is not just hard and then dear like boom like a stone no, that is not battling cyst. And then in terms of color, when you look at it, battling cyst majorly does not change the color of the vulva. It is usually reddish pink or whatever, just that pink um, look of the vulva. It is usually there, although it could be a little, because it's aggressive now, it could be a little red. But not um, there is if, if if you look at it carefully, there might not even be any kind of um, change in the in the color of the vulva because you have a battling cyst, and a battling cyst does not come with discharge. 
does not come with extra discharge except you are treating or you have an infection while you have a Bartholin cyst, which could actually aggravate the pain, except there's an infection which, is, which has nothing to do with you having a Bartholin cyst. I think that is the word. It has nothing to do with you having a Bartholin cyst. But if you have an infection, you could have some form of vaginal discharge or that is awkward, but Bartholin cyst generally will not come with vagina discharge and then battling cyst can be there for a very long time i'm talking about period it is not um it could be there for some have battling cyst for three years that it's not um it didn't get infected it is just there the cyst is there it is painless some might not even grow bigger it is just there that is why i would advise that if you have cyst that you cannot really pinpoint what it is it is better that you speak to your doctor it is better that you see a doctor if after everything i've said you are still doubting and you are not sure that what you have is a battling cyst please ensure that you see your doctor it is also a battling cyst if it was formerly a painless cyst and then it becomes painful that is in, that is one of the major characteristics of battling cyst. It starts as a painless cyst and then it turns into a painful cyst. So if you have a cyst or a swelling on your vulva and then you don't know what it is, while you are still trying to figure it out, after some days it becomes painful, it gets bigger, it gets irritated, then it is a battling cyst. Another major sign that it's a battling cyst is that you can suit this pain by introducing it. Either you did cyst baits, you did alt massage, you did a vaginal stimmy, or you introduced some form of it on it, you would notice that the pain for that moment will subside. That is one of the characteristics of battling cyst. You can suit it by using it. Sometimes painkillers don't work for the pain that comes with battling cyst. I've rarely seen people say, oh, I took painkiller and then the pain went away. No, you could do very little, maybe little difference, but unlike any other cyst in any other part of the body that comes with pain, when you use painkiller for battling cyst, it does close to nothing. Another thing to show that the cyst is, a battling cyst is that it reoccurs. If you have a cyst, that goes away you have a cyst on your vulva and the cyst disappears and then it reappears most often i don't know what else it could be but most of it is battling cyst it goes away and then it could come back in my next video i'll be talking about how to handle battling cyst reoccurrence so if you have if you are suffering or you you have had issues of battling cyst coming going or you have one and you really do not want it to come back then you should do well to watch my next video that I'll be talking about battling cyst reoccurrence. Now, on how you diagnose battling cyst, you can only diagnose battling cyst by seeing your doctor, having a medical professional evaluate you. Now, what are they going to be asking you when you go to see a doctor? A doctor will like to know your history. It is he's going to do a pelvic examination. He might even do a physical examination trying to see what is there in terms of trying to know the location trying to touch it to know the feel and know if it's actually a battling cyst they could also do what is called eye vagina swab that is they could take um some of your vagina secretion and then you know take it to the lab to see if there's any form of infection now what this helps them to know is to know why the battling cyst is being irritated why it's aggravated and why it is so painful if there's any form of infection and then for them to know the antibiotics that they are going to give you not specifically because battling cyst is caused by an infection like what most people believe battling cyst is not caused by infection but when you have infection while you have battling cyst it compounds the problem and that is why doctors will always treat infection anytime you have battling cyst 
Another thing that your medical doctor or your medical professional might be asking you to do is what to call biopsy. They are going to take a part of the mass to be sure that it's not cancerous, especially when you have patulin cyst postmenopause or you are over 40 years old. That is when they are going to ask you to do this. And taking it forward from there, you can then either you self-diagnose and you're sure you have a battle cyst, or you talk to a medical professional who diagnoses you with battle cyst, then you can then be looking out for treatment. So if you are thinking of how to treat battle cyst at home conveniently, then do well to watch this my video which where I spoke about how to get rid of battling cysts in less than 24 hours. It will be really, really helpful for you. And so and probably you are pregnant and you are with battling cyst. This video will also help you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And before you go, please do well to click on the subscribe button. Do well to click on the notification bell. And please share this video also with your friends that you believe or your network that you believe this video is going to be profitable to them. And thank you so much for watching this video. See you on my next video. Do well. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.